Hello, and welcome to the Cisco SUN Sandbox Module 6. Today we'll be looking at how to upgrade the software for your Cisco SUN environment. Navigate to Cisco vManage and then click on Maintenance and Software Upgrade. First, we want to upgrade the latest version of code, so you can get that from the Viptela support portal, which is support.viptela.com, and then log in and look for downloads and download the latest release. Then come here, select Repository, and then add new software, and then we're going to add this to our local vManage. There's three different file types, one for vManage, one for the vSmart, which is also the vEdge Cloud version, and the new vEdge 5000 router will have another version of code. And then finally, vManage will have a third version of code. So you'll have to download each version of code depending on what you're trying to update. So once you upload those, they will show up here in the repository. So you can see that 17.2.4 is uploaded locally to the repository, and I did that back in March. So next, what we want to do is go back to the device list. So if you're upgrading the entire environment to a new version, you start with vManage. And so you would click Upgrade. And then you would choose what version you're going to. And you can download that from vManage. And you would click Upgrade. So that would actually just copy the file to vManage. You would have to come back and activate it. During that activate process, you would not be able to log into vManage while it did the software upgrade and while the vManage uh, platform rebooted. It is important to note that everything will continue to uh, function normally, except you will not be able to make changes during the maintenance window for the, this particular upgrade of vManage. Next, you upgrade your controllers. So this is your vSmart controllers as well as your vBon. So the same process is true. So you can come in and you can click Upgrade. And then you select what version you want. And you have the option to activate and reboot. So ahead of time, ahead of your maintenance window, you can go ahead and copy the software over and then you can always come back and do the activate later. So that will give you the option to activate it during the maintenance window, which will cause the device to reboot. So you can do this individually, or you can do all the devices at once. Then for the vEdges, the same process applies. So here we're going to update uh, branch 3, which is still running 17.2.2. So we want to click that. And then we want to do upgrade. So we're going to go to 17.4, which is locally on our vManage. And then we have the option to activate and reboot. So we'll go ahead and do that since it's just one device. If we didn't click that, once the upgrade was done, we would have to actually go back and activate the software, which would cause the router to reboot. So we click upgrade, and you can see that it's checking our platform or our uh, progress to make sure that this is good. And then once that happens, then the software upgrade will start. The validation was successful. Now it's installing and activating the software image. Now it's doing the software image download. Download has begun, so it's 206 meg total. So we can see the status right here in the message as it downloads. If you're upgrading multiple V edges at a time, it'll do, I think, up to three uh, downloads simultaneously, and then it'll keep moving and do the rest of them.
So once the download is complete, it'll actually start installing the software. So it changed from downloading to installing software. Now the device is rebooting. is done installing software. So now if we come back to software upgrade, we'll see that branch 3 VH1 is now running 17.2.4. Some cleanup tasks involved, you can delete available software and you can also set the default version. You'll notice that this is still set to 17.2.2, so we'll come in and say its default version now is 17.2.4. So we'll set default and I'll run a task to do that. So it's validating the task. Now that is done, and we can then come back and say, there's still some available versions on this vEdge, so you can also delete those to save space if you need to. So you delete those too. And then that will remove those software versions from that local vEdge router. Come back here to software upgrade. You'll notice that there's no available versions because we deleted the older ones. This concludes the module. I hope you found it valuable and I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching.